Hi, Hiram here. I'm going to do a boil test on this Sterno stove kit that I got. I bought this some time ago and I did a little review on it, an unboxing. It's this one. It's a kit, stove kit that comes with a stove, a pot. Now the, the stove fits inside the pot. It also has, I think it's an 8 ounce cup and a tool of sorts, a spork. I don't know, some sort of a saw edge and an opener for the sterno cans on the other side. This all fits inside here and has a handle that folds down. I think the kit would have been better off having a cover for the pot rather than these two things, but that's just my opinion. The pot itself is about six and five eighths by six and five eighths inches and three inches deep square shaped. Again, like I said, uh, this fits inside this and then it all closes down and locks up. I, oops, I still think a uh, lid for this would have been better. It doesn't can't come with a can of Sterno. You have to supply that. Kind of like the most expensive part of the whole deal. I have one of the large 7 ounce cans here that I'm going to try on this test. Um, I guess that's about it. I weighed the can, so after I do this burn test, I'll try to find out how much of the uh, sterno was actually burned up and consumed. But, uh, let's see, oh, the whole kit weighs about 800.6 grams or 1.76 pounds without the sterno. A little bit heavy. It's more for truck camping or, uh, or car camping or cabin or whatever, things like that. Now I don't think the pot is a great shape for boiling water. On the box itself, it kind of shows you heating up stew or something. A whole lot of stew. So, I don't know, it's not a one man kit, per, one person kit I should say, but then they only give you one cup. Go figure. So let me get some water prepped here and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I've got two cups of water now sitting at 60 degrees. Two cups in here only came up a short of three quarters of an inch. This pot is about three inches tall. I think I measured it before and it held more, if you went up to the top edge, it holds more than six cups. So two cups, less than three quarter of an inch. But uh, again, I don't think a square pan is a good use for this. So, but just my opinion. So on this stove, the front lid lifts up rather than down on a lot of the other ones that I have. Got a seven ounce can of Sterno, I weighed it. Let's light it. Is that lit? Yep. So we're lit, stick it in here. Now this one, this stove doesn't have uh, grooves or anything. On the, some of my other stoves, Sterno stoves, there's a bend or whatever in there so that you get the can right in the middle. This one doesn't have it, so you got to kind of just play around with it. Okay, so that's going. This is in the center. I put aluminum foil on top as a cover. Let's see how long this takes. Okay, there we have 210. To 11. Come on. I hear some bubbles. To 12 and 15 minutes look like 24 seconds. Okay, so that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Came to a boil finally in 15 minutes, 24 seconds. Let me take this can out and put out the flames because I want to weigh this. There we go. That was a little bit faster than what I thought it might be, but I think because of the size of the pan, that's six and five eighths by six and five eighths, so that's what? 40, 43, 44 inches, square inches. That's a pretty large 
area pot. Plus the water wasn't very deep, about three quarters of an inch, a little less than three quarters of an inch. What I'll do now is I'll do some math and in editing, I'll put up here how much of the sterno was consumed and about how much it cost me for this one boil. I have a couple more tests that I want to do on this. One with that alcohol burner that I did a couple of days ago. This is one that you put uh, some sort of alcohol or stuff in it. It supposedly came, it had uh, asbestos in it to begin with, but for them to send it into the States, they had to take that all out. So I'm going to put perlite in there. But it comes with an intensifier type of a device. I'm going to try this in here because this is probably a whole lot cheaper than Sterno. Plus, I have another idea from Mr. Full Auto AK47 that I want to try in here. He was telling me about what he does with Sterno. Well, he didn't use Sterno, I don't think. He just used canned fuel. But he makes a modification on this to make it more efficient or make it better to use anyway. Okay, so that's my first boil test on this Sterno stove kit. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.